I think that yeah, it's going, it's going. All right, hello everyone, welcome back, front top of the wall. My name is Mason Knobs. I have another deck feeder day. Uh, this one is Tomorrow Affinity again. Actually, uh, if you've seen this deck on my channel before, I do enjoy playing Tomorrow Affinity in Popper. And uh, Tomorrow Affinity uh, is what I'm going to be playing first. Then I'm going to be. Uh, going and playing uh harley's dredge and i should be editing that to, to say harley because last time i said it was Haley. uh and i really hope that not too many people notice because nobody needs to notice and just like nobody needs to notice us drawing multiple cards and playing four force so Affinity is a deck built around having a bunch of these artifact lands, which help add to your artifact count. They help make uh, affinity spells uh, cheaper. So Thoughtcast can become just a one mana drop two cards. Very strong. A Mirror Enforcer, 4-4 four, four for sometimes zero mana. Pretty good to draw into. Uh, and a nice 5-6 that can just cost two mana. Because 5-6 for two mana. Why, why not? And if that's not enough, Let's throw in an Atog that can we can sacrifice a bunch of artifacts to to pump it super super huge to lethal levels and just start beating our opponent with it. That seems like a pretty decent beat stick. We also got Capricious Forger that uh based on our artifact count can become a 4-4. Um it is it is a metalcraft creature, not affinity, just metalcraft. It doesn't get cheaper, it just gets bigger. Um we have a couple of artifacts that help us redraw cards after we play them so the prophetic prisms and the Iker wellsprings uh the chromatic stars also can be used as redraws and fixing uh the flare husks are amazing little creatures that add to the artifact count by making by being an equipment but they also uh have a germ token automatically equipped to them so they're a creature that also buffs our artifact count and when they die they leave behind their power and toughness so they're a pretty good utility creature um spring lift drums are a great fixing in a three color deck plus a five color sideboard uh, and then we have galvanic blast which is just an upgraded lightning bolt one of the most efficient spells in the in the game as far as burn spells go one mana deal four very very strong witching well is good for digging for specific cards because later in the game you don't want more lands you want more mirror enforcers uh also can be used to draw more cards uh, it's not a bad draw late in the game, just like Perilous Research is. Uh, and Perilous Research also can just be a two for one. But you can you should probably try to sequence it out against one of your opponent's removal spells. So when your opponent tries to, let's say, scred your Enforcer, you Perilous Research it instead, or sack it to the Atog or something. And you end up getting to draw two cards. Uh, actually, don't sacrifice it to the Atog. Um... If you have this in hand, you sacrifice it to Perilous Research and get to draw the two cards. Now, of course, there are a few cards in the sideboard to help us out in some of the annoying matchups that we might come across. Uh, if it is Tortured Existence, good old Relic of Pretendus, any kind of graveyard deck that might try to do disingenuous stuff with their graveyard. Relic of Pretendus is here to slowly grind it out or blow it all up at once. Uh, Weather the Storm. Great against Burn. Then we have uh, Pyroblast, good against blue decks. Hydroblast, great against red decks. Standard Bearer is great against Mono White Heroics and Boggles and St and Stompy. Every time that we play one of these, our opponent has to use all of their combat tricks on this and all of their auras on this. So they have to find a way to deal with this before uh, it turns off, like, before they have to use the other half of their deck. Because about 17 cards to like 20 some odd cards almost 30 cards sometimes can just be dedicated to targeting their own creatures and we switch it over to this one standard bear messing it all up reaping the graves we sequence out a couple of draw spells together and we can return several creatures at once from our graveyard to our hand so in against some of the control matchups we can end up just like saying all right we get back a mirror enforcer we get back our forager we get back our atog return those three to our hand drawing us three heavy hitting creatures just like that very strong uh electricery and kirkland shaman is for the small creature decks and uh the kirkland shaman can also be used in the mid-range matchups 
Uh, Gorilla Shaman is great against Affinity, which is a difficult matchup because it's a mirror. Mirrors are usually pretty difficult matchups. Now, let's go ahead and just get into the gameplay before the stream crashes because I never know when the stream is going to crash. Uh, we'll get into the practice tournament. Oh, uh, super tabs. I don't know what that is. Hello, uh, Petty Briquity. Sure. I would love to play first. I would love to smack first. Hi. Uh, double Atog? Hmm. With no redrawing artifacts. Uh, wait a minute. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, shame scoop. Uh, I mix up the decks. I mix up the decks. That is Jeskai Affinity, not Tamur. I'm going to do that for the rest of my YouTube career. I'm going to mess that up. Like, every time. <sighs> uh, Alright. There it is. I think that's Ralz Eric. Uh, who would have PDF? Okay. Uh, Nito. I don't know what any of this is. Does anybody know what's going on? Is there like, does PDF stand for something? I bet it's some kind of like little small tournament uh, for a couple of people that are self-organized or something. That sounds nice. I should have joined. I should, or at least I should have inquired. Or at least what the hell super tabs meant. Uh, is that, that sounds so familiar. I don't know what uh, super tab means. Darn, doesn't sound familiar. Uh, shoe on the moon. Ah. Shoe on the moon. And that is bottle gnomes. Yeah, I thought it is. Hi. Back again. Hi. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, this seems much better. We're playing a much better deck. So this looks instantly better. Uh, I'm tempted to keep this. Yeah, let's keep this. Any land helps? Are they skipping their turn? Okay. Tron. This might be the mono green Tron. Oh, hey, look. Card. Uh, we needed that. Cancel that. We'll play Spring Leaf Drum. Okay, cool. So, next turn... Great Furnace. Flare Husk. Forger. Forging on ahead. Yeah, seems good. Oh yeah, this is Mono Green Tron. Alright. Yeah, yeah, back to back. Maybachs stacked VMs. Okay. I have no idea what any of that means. But yes. Uh, okay, we'll make the token. Of course we'll make the token. Then, I believe, we just go ahead like this. We make this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seems good. <laughs> Making four fours. Then next turn, this and this and... Ooh, we might... Use the germ token to draw two cards instead. Uh, might be a little bit more important than damage. Radic Star, you crack that star. All right, it's Smackdown time. <laughs> you're, you're, it's, you're almost, you're almost ready to get smacked. I have the huge creatures. Oh, they got another tower? Oh, they already have power plant in hand, but they got forest instead. Okay. Okay. I don't like that. We'll play this. I believe this is free. 
Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. No. All right. We play this. And actually, we use this guy to cast. Ah, uh, much better. <laughs> this is this is a much better hand. All right. Uh, we attack with everybody. I know hitting your opponent on turn three for five is not super aggressive, like you need to be against Tron, but next turn it's nine, plus this. They're at a virtual, um, what is it called? Oh, this is Crusher? Oh, oh, it's Crusher. Oh, it's the Crushinator. Well, Star's here. All right, all right. Mm, I'm tempted to play Prism and Thoughtcast. Holding up Galvanic Blast, attack with a 4-4, leave behind one 4-4. Yeah, that sounds good. And then uh, Galvanic Blast can just shoot that. Seems good. Plus, we can dig for a land at the same time and up our permanent count for when this thing attacks. Okay, that looks great. Okay, we can sacrifice the germs. That's the good news. And keep the power and toughness. This is what this is for. Uh, let's actually attack with both? No, just the one, just the one. Yeah, okay, they're, uh, they're good. Well, this thing has to attack next turn, so we will be attacking. We sacrifice this, one germ. Oh. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I sacrifice this. And I sacrifice... This. I'd like to draw. Land. Alright, that's good. Oh, uh, we moved to blocker. Or actually, do we just leave it, attack, try to get in uh, for as much damage as possible? We're not dead yet. Uh, I don't think that we're well off like this. Yeah, okay, we'll just, we'll just jump. Yeah, it's fine. I, I can attack them back. They're so low. On damage. I mean, they're so low on life. Okay, it's Fierce Empath. What are they grabbing here? Dark Plants on board. Alright, sure. Show me your nonsense. Okay, it's Fengraf Marauder. Uh, that's, I hope they're not holding back Star or something. Uh, because that would be a travesty on top of us playing Affinity. Alright. Alright, let's find out what we're going to do here. Um, is it just thought cast for starters? All right. Um, the second that they play that in attack, we're in trouble. We are in serious trouble, and we're not going to be able to get around it. Let's just attack with these two. I should have probably killed that one while I had the chance. Kill it. Four going on to seven. Uh, we will Icar Wellspring. After combat. Don't worry about what just happened. that card spring leaf drum uh sure all right um unfortunately we're not very good at uh dealing with crushers shame it's okay wait no it's a sacrifice 
that and we might want flare husk to go uh, here take your filthy life I draw my card sure um, I will be sacrificing lands in a second I really wish I had an ATOG that would be very beneficial to get ATOG it's okay no blocks go down all right uh, we can go for a five six to repeat um, what, are, what gets us out of this situation? Uh, Galvanic Blast? I think I just have to dig. And hope and pray that I find Galvanic Blast. I do not. I do not find Galvanic Blast. Uh, maybe Star... Plus, um... Well, maybe? We could um, actually perilous research first. Yeah, why don't we just perilous research first? Um, I know uh, we have to. I know that thing does happen. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Perilous research. Yeah, they're getting to gain a bunch of life, but I want a way out of the crushers. Alright, cool. We found a way out of the crushers. play the spring leaf drum as a thing to sack uh we'll also be blocking with the mirror enforcer tapping it go back blast sure no block no attacks pretty darn good he says pretty darn good oh god oh god that's there uh there is no other creatures in the graveyard okay all right i don't think this is gonna get any better Ugh. i have more land this is fine okay gain your filthy life block okay Now Haunted Pengraft. Darn it. God. Yeah, there it is. Let me guess, what could it be? It's a crusher! Damn it. Okay, that's ridiculous. It's pretty good. Hey, Atog. That's not ridiculous. I think. We could, uh, organize a little trade here. Can I afford, uh, double blue? Don't think that I can afford double blue. We'll just go with Atog and, uh, Atog and Capricious Order. And we'll do it like this. I will sacrifice four permanents. <laughs> Nearly <laughs> destroying everything that I have uh, to get rid of this crusher. Is that a commune with dinosaurs? Yeah, that's a that's a tower. Is that your fourth tower? Oh god. Okay. God, I I saw. You don't have to tell me about the tower tribal. 
Um, let's see now. We have to sacrifice two permanents. Um, might flat this one, I guess. Flare Husk. That's good. God, I'm just 50 life. 52 life. It's cool, right? Yep, pretty cool. Must be nice. I would like to, before damage, <laughs> what am I even doing here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I would like to sacrifice this one. <laughs> I'm playing this out. <laughs> Oh boy. Go ahead. Block how you will. I think they already decided how to. Uh, yeah. Okay. Block how you will. I mean, aside, I've signed out how you will. They say okay. <laughs> <laughs> they plan to leave me beaten, lifeless on the ground. <laughs> they have their own plan for. Uh, how this is all gonna go all right so game plan here uh witching well which next turn we can sacrifice to draw some cards okay i think we put spring leaf we might need that on top yeah we could put on top put on top all right, pass the turn. No attacks. I will not block that. And I don't think that will attack. I think they might be afraid of what artifacts can do to them. <laughs> From 70 life. <laughs> From a top of 70 life. That's a nice sweater. Mmm, warm and cozy. The, the thickest of sweaters. <laughs> Oh god. Alright, here's our path. If that gets crusher. If that gets crusher. <laughs> oh, Fengraft Marauder. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Yup. Damn it. Okay, so good news. Uh, cancel. We'll play this for just the two mana. It safely outclasses all of their creatures. Cool. Uh, not dead yet. Not dead. It's still alive. Okay, commune with dinosaurs. Jesus. Is it a land? Reveal nothing. That's right, you get nothing. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm, hmm, uh, free! That's right, free! Back off. <laughs> Mine or not. Okay, I wonder if I draw out this game and and they live at like 72 life. Uh, 77 life. Okay. Alright, uh, we will... Probably just pass the turn like this. Yeesh. If I build up a big enough board state, I think I can just bash through repeatedly with this. As long as they don't get Crusher. <laughs> yup. That's a uh, new Tron. Has uh, 
been assembled. Oh, God. Is there a way out of this? I know that there's probably not, but I'm still really tempted to ask. Okay, see to the side now. That's 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 a cool card. How about this card? Fling? <laughs> oh boy. I don't think that's ever gonna work for me, but I really appreciate the optimism, MTGO. Uh, we will not attack yet. I don't think I'm in a good position to be smacking around into any old thing. Oh boy, oh boy. See the sign I sweet. But not it. Uh don't think that we can afford to be smacked around. Not yet. I kinda wish I sacrificed more lands instead of uh Oh look at you. <laughs> 100, 100 life club, huh? Going for the hundy. Keep with dinosaurs. What do they get? Uh... Okay, just get a dinosaur or a land. Right. I thought commune with nature is better. Not attacking yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> play this. Play this. I would love another gigantic fish thing. Serpent. I do not get that. <laughs> if I swing with my mirror enforcer and sack everything, <laughs> is that just uh, a desperate cry for attention? <laughs> I think it is. Oh. No, no, it's okay. Don't. Wretched Griff. Okay, yeah, that might be the thing that kills me. Over the next four turns. Mm hmm. Yep, the all important blocker. Need it, gotta have it. Super important. Doesn't life gain and MTGO only go up so high? So theoretically, uh, I could actually top, like, they could top off, like, at a certain point. Like, they won't gain any more life because MTGO has a limit on its tokens. And I think that I've also seen a limit on its uh, life gain. So there could be a way where, like, they gain 500 life and, like, then it's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then I can sacrifice everything. They can't get any more life. Swing with Atog to be funny. And then fling the Atog. Right? Like fling the Atog. Uh, let's see. Can I afford to attack? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seems good. Uh, no, no, not really. Still a bad position to attack. Because then they could just desperation swing, and that will almost kill me. Ancient stirrings. Another wretched griff. I am dead next turn. I need to desperately draw a Agavanic Blast. God, 
<laughs> if I have to sacrifice a dog after pumping it to kill that thing, I will. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, sphere. Opponent at a hundred and seven. Right. That. That checks out. Ben Graf Marauder. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. All right, I think I'm in a position where I want to attack. <laughs> oh. Okay. So guys, what's the what's the plan here? Do we sacrifice everything, attack with Atog, knowing that we can't possibly win this game? Hold on, wait. Surprise attack! <laughs> Surprise attack! <laughs> Going for it. <laughs> That's what you announce when you attack. Alright. Come here, attack. We're go we're we mean business. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's the lead right back. Oh, surprised. Oh, you should give me like 300. Okay. All right. Little do they know that we have a plan. <laughs> this is gonna be the most that I've ever uh that I've ever like hit somebody for before. Oh god, just auto yield to that. Auto yield to that too. I clicked there, yes. Don't spend my time. <laughs> Alright, we'll just tap all these. Um, oh yeah, we'll, of course, use you for red. Um, we'll, nah. Um, yeah, we'll also use this black mana for red. And then we'll go ahead and attack. Jeez, don't don't freak me out, MTGO. I'm I'm on edge. <laughs> All right, uh, sacrifice. Perfect. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is this is definitely worth it. I think. God, MTGO, stop! I hit it when it uh like stopped for one second. Yeah, see, they they're they're saying the same thing. Okay. I don't think that MTGO can actually handle all the auto yields. All right, I'm ready the second this thing resolves. Uh, I click there. Click there. Okay, there we go. There. <laughs> yes. Quick, the mirror enforcer. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, my plan is coming to fruition. They're gonna soon cap out at 500 life. <laughs> and then, guys, <laughs> we're gonna fling them for a whopping however much damage this is. Probably not a lot. There, it's actually. What is this? Not enough? Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> they're just scared that the A dog is getting pretty big. Uh, sacrifice that too. Okay. All right. Uh, biggest I've uh I've made. This is actually the biggest A dog that I've made. All right. Uh, then we will. Ah, oh, I can't. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Um, yeah, sure. We'll, uh, <laughs> God, I can't, I can't do both. Uh, you know what? This is the most that I can do. This is the most damage. Uh, okay. Ba-boom. <laughs> oh, there's this. Wait. <laughs> there, perfect. Yes. It all matches. <laughs> More. <laughs> Uh, this is just like Aaron for Gay Grumps, uh, when he's just like constantly screaming more while uh, Dan is like funneling M&Ms into his mouth and like all kinds of candy and garbage. And then <laughs> he has one of those uh, mouth extenders. Uh, it extends and parts your lips open and he's just like, <laughs> <"Maw!"> <laughs> like screaming for it. And they're like just funneling it in and it's all just not getting in it's, it's because he can't close his lips it's all falling out oh god he needed more okay we get cyborg i think we have eight minutes left to win a game uh i think we can do it we probably can't do it but i really hope so i think we just have to run it back yeah, I think we just have to run it back. I don't think that there's really anything that we can do. They have bigger creatures than us. And if they play them and play the second one. I mean, this is kind of like the mono green Tron deck in modern when they play out their first big threat, like either Karn or whatever their big, huge seven drop creature is or big, huge threat is the first time. You usually can deal with it. But then... They play the second one that's a big, huge threat, and you don't have an answer for that one. And that's the one that kills you. Uh, I'd love to play first. I would enjoy keeping. I'll keep, even though it's a little slow. We'll see how this goes. But for next turn for sure I get to at least scry two and draw two. Ooh, okay. Uh put it to the bottom. I think we also have to put this land to the bottom. Okay, so that helps fix our draws. And then next turn this lets us draw two. For one mana. Thoughtcast on two is not bad. Okay, that is difficult. Okay, and they're stuck on... Uh, actually, no, they're not. Okay, so... Next turn, this gets cast for one... Sure. Yeah, one, two. Uh, we're down at one mana. Use this here. Two mana. Okay, yeah, I think we can cast these. Next turn. Okay, they're stuck with community dinosaurs. 
Okay, mine. Yikes. Tron slowly assembling. Alright, that's good. Um, that is super tempting to deviate from the plan. And I think I might. Alright, hey phone, I noticed. Phone, you're not making it better. I, I'm aware of your existence. Oh god, no phone, not right now. Unless it's that bomb squad coming to, uh, you know, get rid of the bomb that's in my basement. I, I'm not really interested. They don't have any excuse. They should already be on their way. It's not important. <laughs> Is it a carbon monoxide leak? I don't think so. What's that? Okay, cool. I will still be punching you. I'm still gonna punch you. I've, I've, I'm, de I'm destined to punch you. All right, super. Give me this. Land. This. Okay, cool. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll go ahead and get in with the four, four. And then eight dog from that point on, I think might be lethal. Yeah, I think. It, yeah, eight dog from that point on is lethal uh, if they choose not to block. And they don't have good target removal, so this is just kill you. It's just a, it's just a kill you, kill you creature. <laughs> Uh, and we have more 4-4s? Four uh, do something <laughs> about this. <laughs> I will be uh, sending them that uh, in a second. As soon as I have literally the perfect hand against you. You have the perfect hand. What could you possibly have? Oh god, what is it? Is it... <sighs> Jesus. Is it Fengraf Marauder? Am I gonna get punished for putting Fling to the bottom when I had no Atog? I'm not gonna get punished for putting Fling to the bottom! <laughs> oh, dead. Dead. Um... All right, so they have two green mana, and they have five, okay, four colorless that, all right. Is it weather the storm? No. Could it be weather the storm? It doesn't really matter what mana we keep. Okay, that's great. That is... Just unbelievably great. Ah, I think we should sack the star. No, 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 no. Let's attack with everybody. Get in. Get him, son. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. I will, I will, I swear to God, if I, if I get punished for not keeping a fling, that is going to be so annoying. All right. Yeah, sure. Do you, do you, do you stupid thing? Great. I am, I'm probably going to upgrade that to my battle rage to a fling in a second because to my battle rage doesn't get me out of, out of as many situations as fling does like this situation. 21 life. Oh, disgusting. Alright, so next turn, uh, these three, use Tamur and a Colorless. What? What did you gain, uh, five life for? Oh, Tree of Tales, right. <clears throat> Alright, what you get? Tower. Cool.
I will definitely be hitting you with all of my might in just a moment. Galvanic Blast. Sweet. Um, attack with everybody. Again. Good. Oh, okay. I think they're just cool with it. Sure. <laughs> they don't have journey to nowhere. Good. You don't need it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't need it. You don't need it. It's it's fine. Listen, it's fine. It's all good. Ah. Okay, and then they have uh moments of peace. If I shoot this, then they have moments of peace. I think I'd rather wait for them to try to block with the Fengraft. Matter, they have one more turn of that. Attack with the four fours. Give me a card. Oh, they shouldn't have attacked. Oh, I wonder why. Spring leaf jump. Cool. It is a card. We'll attack like this, and we'll keep this guy back. Yep, and they use that. Yeah, I figured, but I wanted to make sure that they have to use it. Spring the drum, pass the turn, holding up Galvanic Blast, probably blocking here, probably gonna shoot there. What's that? Fierce Empath. Oh, that's enough to uh, play Crusher, isn't it? Yeah, that's enough to play Crusher. Okay, change of plans. I might let this hit me for three. Attack with all the guys. Desperation Swing. Get him down. Uh, attack with these guys. No, no, that won't work. That, that's not going to work. Okay, they have the perfect hand for that. They have the perfect hand for killing me. All right. GG's. Ah, oh, GG's. Okay. Okay, um. Ah, alright. Here's the thing. We could double Galvanic Blast that right now. Or double Galvanic Blast them. What gets in, though? Because this eats this, probably. This probably eats this. This probably jumps here. Uh, we get in with just a 4-4. Four -four. End up 1 1. Um, and we can't sacrifice anything to Atog. Um, we know that this will attack next turn, and we have to sacrifice stuff to it. It's not like we're going to be in a better position after this thing is tapped. So we'll just go ahead and get in. Get in with everybody. Now or never. <laughs> now or never. And we could, oh uh, no, we could have done this before blocks. Um, as long as one four four gets in, uh, they die. Oh, oh, oh yes, that's okay. This trigger goes on the stack after you take the damage. Takes damage at the same time. Yes! <laughs> GG. <laughs> GG, in, in fact. Oh, God. At the last second. Oh, I can't believe they didn't chump. 
Atog. Oh god. Or the or the four four. Yes. Ah. Uh, oh, life is so good. Ah, uh, it's great. I'm never gonna win the other game in time, but oh god, I'm so happy that I did that. <laughs> I'm happy. It's all good. That was great. Um, oh God, no. <laughs> I have to mulligan down. Okay, mulligan down, fine. Uh, keep, no. I can cast literally nothing, mulligan. Keep, because I think I might have to. Keep, because I have to. Um, Pivots to the Sheriffs, can't afford it. Um, oh, wait, hold on. No, I have to choose multiple things. Yeah, that. Done. Nope. I don't think we can. Alright, pass the turn. You better not spend any of my time. I press six. Six is like the best that I can do. Pressing six on their turn. That, that turn was pretty fast. Alright, uh... That's a card. Sure. Wretched Grift. Oh, on time Wretched Grift. No, 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 no. You don't need that. God. Uh, they're gonna get that nice wool sweater again. No thanks. No tax. Next turn, I think I might literally just go Vanna Clef. Oh, you're bad. Oh, come on. It's just a thing. Oh, I just do that. Cool. Um, attacks. Again, no. Well, okay. Star, uh, before the end of my turn. Uh, trying to play as fast as possible. Doubtful that I can win a game here, but, uh, it should be fun to race. Dang it. All right, they're not going to give up that Fengraf Marauder. Easy. Don't spend any of my time. Don't don't give, don't give me priority. I don't want it. I don't want it. You can keep it. Keep it for yourself. And then we'll attack. Oh, you know what? Let's attack with this guy, too. Oh, look. It's so innocent. This little creature. Oh, it's just so small. What could it possibly mean? They didn't do it. Ah, uh, they, they didn't bite. Why right, they cast that spell? They get nothing! They get dick! Uh, no thank you. Oh, 
I should be attacking with both ACOGs. What is that? Okay, that's sick. Garbage. It's garbage. Good. Play ATOG. Pass the turn. I already pressed six. What are you giving me? What are you giving me priority for? Okay. Uh, I don't know about that. Show me star. Play star. Oh god, minus twenty. Okay. Oh, as soon as the thing's dead, I'm I'm killing it. Don't give me a priority. I press six. Don't give me any. Why are you taking my time? MTGO, don't punish me for your bad algorithm or bad uh bad uh platform or whatever this is. That's right. You give me that. Don't, don't scare me. All right, we'll attack with it all. Cool. I forgot about that. Right. Uh, oops. GG. Um. <clears throat> Six. Don't give me any. Don't give me any priority. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm literally just pressing spick six. I'm spamming. If you have fling, then no. <laughs> oh god, don't give me any priority. I see. I'm at two. I'm just tapping six. Don't give me any. <laughs> don't. What is this? <laughs> Okay, they get another card, sure. All right, now bye. Damn it. Damn it all. Ah. Uh, uh, shoe on the moon. Are we friends yet? All right, shoe on the moon. Go on the moon. What? Just, just let him quick private chat. That was awesome. That was sweet. Ah, uh, unavailable or offline. They joined an event real fast. All right, so that was fun. Uh, playing Tarot Affinity. Goddamn. <laughs> I had nothing useful in my sideboard to deal with that. I think that means we should redesign the sideboard and, and make a whole new sideboard just to deal with that one deck uh, that Chew on the Moon sometimes plays. Or we could just play another deck. Uh, and we could even rename that deck to uh, Harley's Dredge. Because, uh, reason? Heart please, Dredge. Sure. We will go ahead and try this again. Uh, if you haven't seen the deck real quick, I'll go over it. <clears throat> it is a Jund list based on just these awesome colors. There is play We're playing a bunch of sweet uh, dredging creatures and creatures that help stock our graveyard and cards that help us stock our graveyard. Like, where's, where's the display? Okay, there it is. Display function. Play function there it is right and what we're trying to do we're trying to mill over these grixis slave drivers or these first fear gargantuas either way they're very efficient creatures for their unearth cost they have abilities when they enter and leave the battlefield either making a 2-2 or drawing us a card so they're just they're just good creatures to unearth like just straight up good creatures but how can we make them better uh a little dragon's fang maybe uh or maybe a little dragon shadow because when these enter the uh, battlefield 
we may return the dragon cards from our graveyard to the battlefield attached to those big creatures. So we can unearth a huge gargantua, make it, oh, let's say 10-10, hasty, smack them, dead, and we get to draw a card. Potentially dredging up a Stinkweed Imp, and then Stinkweed Imp gets us another gargantua to do it again next turn. And then we just relentlessly pound our opponent with 10-10s while maybe leaving behind two twos uh, to block for us or more secret imps to block for us. This seems good. But there has to be other things to do that uh, that like, can put them put those cards in the graveyard. So we got a Seder Wayfinder here. An awesome staple in a lot of graveyard decks that does awesome work um, and helps us uh, make, make our land drops. Winding Way is a great way to also help us make our land drops. Now this digs deep into the deck, four cards deep, and we always choose land because we want the creatures usually going to the graveyard anyway. So if we just keep choosing land, we get a couple of lands. We can keep making our land drops. That means we can potentially unearth multiple creatures in a turn, which is way more than an opponent can deal with. Or we can just hard cast these guys. <laughs> we can just hard cast them. Sure. Seems fine. Uh, Rotting Rats can also get these cards out of our hands and get them back into the graveyard where, where we want them. We want these cards in our graveyard to cheat on their mana costs and whatnot. Now, Faith is Looting and Shriekhorn are just enablers. They're just good enablers that help us dredge a bunch of cards or mill ourselves for a bunch of cards. Now, for fixing, we got a bunch of basics here, but we also got some bluffs and some mores. Um, these are awesome. Love these cards. Uh, I think these are all sweet. I like the whole Thriving Lands cycle. Um, I prefer my mana base uh, when it's three color to be thriving. Now we have Thorn of the Black Rose and why did I get rid of that? Uh... Okay, good, it's back. So I wanted to go with the Monarchy over um, one of these, uh, I think it was over an Ancient Grudge, maybe, or no, I think it was over a Flaring Pain. Anyway, I wanted to go with the Throne of the Black Rose because against some control decks, throwing down a Throne of the Black Rose when your opponent doesn't have a creature to play Ganon at you with and you have Stinkweed Imps threatening to eat their creatures if they try, uh, you can usually just like take the Monarchy, hold the Monarchy for a minute. And if you want to take the Monarchy back, you can smack them with a 10-10 and then take the Monarchy back. And the 10-10 has Shadow or uh, well, it has Fear or it has Trample. Or it has both, so I think we're good. <laughs> we could take we could take the monarchy back. Uh, Ancient Grudge is a great way to mess with affinity. We can either play this from our opening hand and then replay it again, or just mill it over and play it. Uh, shenanigans. I want to try out shenanigans against affinity or some of the artifact decks because it just you know it doesn't actually slow you down that much to stop and dredge this card over for one card then blow up one of your opponent's things. It doesn't uh, slow you down as much as I think Ancient Grudge would, but I haven't been able to test it in action. Uh, Flaring Pain here is great against a ton of fogs. Moments Peace is our own fogs uh, against some of the aggro decks, uh, allowing us to make our land drops and then uh, get the chance to beat our opponent down. Not of the Bone, uh, if we're up against Burn, just like turn three, try to uh, try to like get a bunch of cards in our graveyard, and find one of these not of bones, not of the bones, and try to gain like eight life or so. Uh, and usually that'll give us enough time <clears throat> to find the next one and then gain like 20 life. You know, seems seems good. It seems good against Burn. Uh, fling to fling the 10 10 if uh, we're worried about our opponent really just getting in our way and uh, with a bunch of like creatures and successfully continuously blocking us. So. I would like uh, to try to fling somebody at some point in time, but I don't think we really ever want to be in the situation where we have to fling somebody. So we're just going to hope that we don't have to fling somebody. Let's get into some games. And hello. Sabuto? Sabuto? Oh, hey, I'll fling Sabuto. That'll work. <clears throat> Ah, my mouth is dry, my throat is dry. I want water. I would love to play first. I would like better cards. 
I'll keep this because Faithless Looting is a sweet cantrip. Well, it's not necessarily a cantrip. It doesn't replace itself 100%. But it does help us make another land drop. And we have a bunch of other ways to help ourselves make a bunch of land drops. So, oh wait, hold on. Um, I have to choose, I choose green. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this will work. Uh, will work. Okay, sure. Is this Scred Fairies? You shall not. Uh, okay, that, and, ooh, I'm tempted to, uh, try to Rotting Rats and dump a bunch. Play this. Play Shriek Horn. Actually, we'll do that on their end step. Then next turn, Sacred Horn. Is this Swamp? Or is this... Yeah, it's just Island. Okay, they're Dermir Control, I think. They're not playing Scred. I respect this land choice, but they're not playing Scred. Dermir, blue-black? Oh, it's a Plains. No. Mm-hmm. Cool. What'd you get? What we got? Alright, um... Well, we got some stuff. Okay. We'll choose black. We'll choose... Let's go like this. Get some cards. Always yield. I think I want to get in some chip damage. Ooh, uh... And... What was that? Uh, another Rotting Rats. Shriek Horn, uh, Shadow, sure. Yeah, I think these are fine cards. Next turn, I think I'm gonna... Oh, it's Familiars. Alright, well, that's annoying. But sure. As long as they don't, I don't see Stonehorn Dignitary. Slave Driver, sure. Stonehorn and Dignitary is the only actual problem here. I think the truck I don't think the Titter Refinder is gonna be quite that beneficial. Uh we'll target ourselves. Okay. I wanted to make some choices there. Now we could stop and go for another faith is looting and really set up for a better turn next turn but they're tapped out right now this is fine we could try to rotting rats them or uh i think we'll just go um winding way and rotting rats yeah winding way choose land lands have been given play out rotting rats uh we'll choose dragon fang Yes, I want to discard it. Give. Discard. Alright. This is good. We don't need to attack. How unfortunate. Let's see. Um, next turn. Oh, yeah, we can dredge Stinkweed Imp. How many creatures do we have? Uh, we have. Uh, there's deep analysis. Sure. Let's see, we got three first fears, one slave driver. Hard to see sometimes. We got two rotting rats. We got them to discard. What, the Ash Barons? No, I think they use the Ash Barons. Oh, <laughs> they they were still on that comment. Uh, blue black? They're like, my deck? Question mark? Uh, no. I didn't, uh, oh, no, I don't want to see, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll take the stink with him. I didn't see the, uh, planes at, uh, <laughs> at the time. 
Okay, great. Um, okay, there's cards. Those didn't help. A shame. Shame on our deck. Um, I think we just go for... Uh, no, don't save the city. We'll first Seder Wayfinder. Try to look for a black source. Ooh, uh, one swamp. Yes, please. Then we will Gargantua. That one. And that one. Aw, oh, yeah. Um, that. And... I would... I would like... I would actually... Oh, okay. That's right. Um, I forgot. I have to put them on the stack first before I can say, always yield. Always yield. Always yield. Um, yes... And I like how this is uncounterable too. Uh, this is just this is just great. Ugh. Ah, <laughs> card. I like cards. No. Ah, <laughs> so much for uncounterable. That, I see. I see. Okay. The error of my ways. Well, I'm hit, still hitting you for one. I think next turn, uh, we should probably drain their hand a bit. With, um... We're just probably going for what seems... Nice. Um, I guess a bunch of rotting rats to drain their hand out and also get rid of our stinkweed imp. Sure. Okay, no more attacks. Or at least no more easy attacks. We will be losing a 1-1 one -one every time that we attack. Boiler works. Sure. Oh, just guy flicker? Or maybe they're just playing boiler work so that way they can get access to red cards on the side. Yeah, they're probably just doing that for red cards on the side. Okay, we... Let's go for Rotting Rats first. Rotting Rats. Unearth. Cool. Uh, we'll get rid of Dragon Fang. Yes. My fan on my computer has been making like little clicking noises, so it sounds exactly like a Geiger counter. I gotta, I gotta play like some kind of, uh, some kind of game with like radioactive uh, opponents or something, so that way I could just see like, oh god, I could hear them off the distance. Uh, just get that little sense of dread. Okay, discard a card. Uh, Stink with him. Yes. Alright, we go to attacks. We will be attacking with all. Give. Give us the beats. We want them. We want the beats. Okay, you take that one. Cool. We'll be using that to make you discard later. <laughs> you might not know that. But we will bring you down in hand size quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Hey, can I? No, I can't. That's right. I chose green for that one. I forgot. The The other one uh, is the black one. We are taking your cards. Slowly but surely. We will take them all. <clears throat> I think... Uh... Oh god, no, 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 no. You don't need that. Uh, cards are dangerous. You could cut yourself on that. What if you get a paper cut? 
I know we're playing digital cards, but you could get a paper cut. You could. You don't. You don't know when it's gonna happen. Anytime that you touch paper, you don't know that when you're gonna get a paper cut. So you gotta have less cards. <laughs> this is just like our public uh, service to the uh, to the people. Yeah. Now we could double gargantuan. Mm, but we want want to see what we mill first. I mean, okay, this we're making our creatures super deadly. I think it's just better if we piece these out little by little. At this point, um, I don't think that we want to go out of our way to do these twice in the row, twice in a row, unless we know our opponent is getting rid of the first one. Um, okay. We'll take that Stinkweed Imp, please. Another Stinkweed Imp. Two more Stinkweed Imps. Ah, oh, Our lucky day. Our lucky day. Alright. We will probably go for this wonderful Grixis Slave Driver. Or actually, we can just play the Grixis Slave Driver from our hand. Right? It's not like they have um actual like removal for this thing, right? They have uh prohibit and snap. I don't think they're actually prepared to deal with a six mana cost creature. Ah uh, yes. Um we'll just put all these up there. Yep. Clicky click click click. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nope, can't attack yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Who knew? Playing a six drop in Pauper is good. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, and it's not even um uh, it's not even Dinrova horror. Man. Build your own Eldrazi in Pauper. Build your own uh, giant creature. Hmm. Seems good. Alright. So, other answers. Is there a snap? Because I will just replay this from hand. And that does cost you a card. I will be looking for more cards. I'll probably be looking for two a turn. Uh, for a little while, I'll probably be looking for um, those two. One from me just replaying this from my hand. And one from replaying a card from my graveyard. Snap. Okay, yeah, sure. You snap. And I get to make a 2-2. Two -two. Mm -hmm. Making a 2-2. Two -two. Oh yeah, layer it on thick for me, please. Uh, get, please give me the icing with this cake. I didn't really have any uh, a whole lot of cake references in my repertoire. All right, what is this? Is this going to get snap? Uh, might get snap. All right, good news. They don't have blue mana. I get to hit them one time. Oh, God. You know what? Wait a minute. Let me think about this. Uh, we have... So We need one more. Uh, with the last Dragon Fang. If we get it, which we did not, we could have seven... Double this five. Ah, it's only 12. Ah. Ah. We could have had it. Okay. Well... All right, uh, I guess we'll just be. Oh wait, hold on, wait a minute, wait, cancel, cancel. Just realized, faithless lootings are in here. Faithless looting, <laughs> we're gonna mill ourselves out. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, God, how many? 
Okay, I'll I'll be at so few cards. I don't know if I can afford to do that. Um, get three cards. Oh God, what if they make me draw cards? What if they brainstorm me and kill me? No. Discard two cards. Sneak it in, and uh, uh, thriving more. It's in here. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think this kills them. Oh come on. GG's. Uh yes. Yes. Gotta be careful about this. Gotta keep my finger on three. Hitting that yes. <laughs> come on. Oh, Uh, no, cancel, cancel. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, attack. Oh, they said bad. They just said bad back? I don't see. What's the problem? 13! <laughs> yes! It is! It is true! Death! <laughs> they die! Hooray! Um, alright. What do we, what do we get here for them? Uh... They're not super aggressive. And they're not super burny. Can't use none of the bone. Uh flaring paint? No. They don't use uh regular fogs. They use Stonehorn and Dignitary. Stonehorn Dignitary just prevents combat, not actual combat damage. It just locks you out of combat as you flicker it. Uh they don't have any artifacts to hate on. Um Fling gets worse if they have counter spells. And it perfectly lines up with Prohibit. I think that their only real answer are Stonehorn Dignitary, Aether Snipe, and Snaps. If we get one of them in hand and we just keep playing it, <laughs> I think that's good enough. I don't want to risk uh, losing the Monarchy to them uh, and give them this. They're not very great at attacking, and that could be to our benefit for a little while. But not for very long because we'll be at four mana, sure. But then uh, the turn after, they could untap, and they're probably going to choose to play. They're probably going to choose to go first, so they're going to untap on turn five. Probably have their fifth land, play their fifth land, play Mall Drifter, and okay, great. They're more than caught up, and then they can try to take the monarchy, and we can't stop them. So no Thorn of the Black Rose. God. Ugh. I want I want cards to bite these people. I want I want to hate hate on the flicker. I want to hate on the flicker, but I don't know if I can. Okay, they choose to play first. We do get some cards. Um, these are all cards I'd rather have in the graveyard. I think I have the mulligan. Um. Huh. Okay, keep. Fine. Um we'll put back uh what's good? That. Sure. Let's hope that they don't have opening hand relic. Okay, they don't have opening hand turn one relic. That's good. Sorry more. Um oh god, you know what? If they have relic, I forgot about uh relic. I should have brought in Ancient Grudges to fight the Relic. Because if we mill one over, then we get priority. And then we get to choose choose to shoot the Relic. Um, we'll choose green for now. Pass the turn. Hold on. <laughs> they say bad. We see good. I know it's super late. But it's 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 time. It's well timed. It's it's just fine. It's four minutes late. Nobody's going to notice. Go get island. Oh god, please untap. Give us land. Land. One land. Land would be very nice. 
Here they are. Oh. No land. No relic either. Oh. Oh. Lucky day for us. Um, we'll pass the turn. Basic land cycling. Sure. Planes. Why didn't they do that on their... Oh, well, I guess if they don't have land... I mean, they should have probably tried to play it. Ah. Alright. That was weird. I mean, if they had drawn land, like, untapped on that turn, and they drew land, they could have, uh, played the land. And been ahead of land draw. Oh, I just milled two lands. Oh, boy, I don't... Oh, we get one anyway! We get one anyway! Oh, glorious. Always yield. Oh, we'll take that bluff. Oh, we get a first fear. Okay, cool. Okay, next turn. Bluff, Seder Wayfinder, mill ourselves uh, for the last time. Okay. And we can start playing this guy from hand at some point. I mean, this is going to help us make another land drop for sure. All right. Uh, so you get Oracle. A blocker has been established. Ooh, we might want to do it next turn if we get an untapped source. Yeah. Uh, we will mill ourselves. Nope. We won't mill ourselves. We'll close that window, then we'll mill ourselves. Right. Mill ourselves. Four. We're milling ourselves for two. Uh, how many cards? Rotting Wrath? Okay. Good card. Oh, there's a Shriek Horn. Um, we will take... Seems good. Green mana? We already have red mana, black mana. Um, how about black mana? Because we'll need it at some point. I like mill ourselves once, once more. Oh, slave driver. All right, good. Uh, we will just go like this. Cool. We only ever need one red mana at a time, and it's mostly just for faceless looting. All right, what we get? Ooh. I'll take the thriving more uh next turn i can untap play both these yeah sure i can play tree corn next turn plus thriving more plus uh rotting rat get my cards in uh no tax that'll work Show me the money. Show it. Aw, oh, don't be bashful. Show it. <laughs> there it is. Alright, um, they got a full hand of cards. Makes me nervous. I, I see a bunch of cards I don't know. Deep analysis, sure. Wait, did they pay? Oh, okay, I see. One was preared in. Three were deep analysis. Sure. Seven cards. We will mill, of course. I don't want to see that. Um, rotting rats. Um, another Grifty Slave Driver. Dragon Fang. Oh, okay. Dra Shadow and Fang. That's pretty good to mill. We'll play this. We'll go for green. Actually, do I really want to have to fight myself for uh, red mana? I'll just diversify my red mana just a little. Tree corn. Uh, and then we'll tap for black. We'll 
running that. Okay. Uh, yes. I'll still attack with this. Uh, okay, see, there's the pro prohibit. Uh, prohibit. They know that it's not very good. Uh, so that's why they got rid of it. Know that they can't really stop abilities. Sure. All right. Next time we get to dredge again. Do half my library. Um. I don't know how many cards that they have that they're going to be um. Just focusing on bouncing. If I'm not careful, they're gonna they're gonna like just flicker me out of the game. All right, see that's that's a life gain card. That is dangerous. And I do represent snap. I represent a little bit more than snap. I would deep analysis hold up one for snap. If I were them. Mill over cards. Nope. Keep uh we'll take Synchrodip. Uh we'll get rid of yours. Bait this looting is here. Sweet. Um We can looting or we can go for a gargantuan. Let's go for a gargantuan. Or we can go for a slave driver. Um yeah, let's go for a quick, quick slaving. Quick slaving. Oh, you know what? I should have milled first. Oh, you. Um. Yes. 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 Attack. Alt slash kill. Ah. Okay, we make it to do. We officially can threaten lethal against that one attacker. Um certain here what exactly is the correct move to go for i think uh just faith is living again might have been better and yeah i get i get that i have to slowly uh try to find ways around their bounce spells but i don't think that i can i'm just trying to pull them out of their hand ah okay they found another one now if they flicker that would be very annoying i guess i just have to work up my mana base to the point where i can just cast these big spells. Uh, this is one Seder Wayfinder is gone. Two are gone. One in the way. All right. There's Fangs. That's good. And we have two shadows in hand. Um. With Faithless looting, I think we're not going to stink with him. I think we're just going to go for a regular draw. Try to find... Oh, there's two stink with him in there? Okay. That's even better. One actual Faithless looting, please. <laughs> yeah, they were thinking about it for just one second. Um, I guess that. Okay, cool. We have actual lands. We will Dragon Shadow. Uh, we already have two Stinkwidimps in there. Dragon Shadow. Play Thrive. Choose Black Mana. Choose Play This. Cool. 19 cards left. All right. As long as I don't Relic us here, we're good. And we have to find land. 
Oh, come on, find land. Uh, preferably an untapped source for next turn. We can actually cast first for Gargantuan. Uncounterable, because they don't have a card for it. Okay. That's good. And Rotting Rats. Okay, we can double first for Gargantua. Okay. Yes. Yes. We have all of the stuff. All right, we'll leave it like this. They can just pass priority, let them do their thing, and then we, uh... We mill ourselves. Mm, sounds nice. Don't hurt Dave and Terry. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Gross. That left a nasty taste in my mouth after I saw it in Tron. Bouncing their only white source. All right. I will, in that case, double rotting rats. Cancel. Will Rotting Rats. Get rid of some of your cards, please. Thank you. Uh, we'll get rid of the Stinkwidim. We'll get rid of... Um, maybe I should be trying to attack with these, but I don't see any great way for us to get through. So... Running rats again. Uh, black, red, cool. All right, they get rid of one of their archaeomancers. All right, that's that's good. They can't come back. Prohibit. Um, that's acceptable. Sure, sure. Down to 12 cards. No more dredging. Anymore. Ephemerate. Alright. Alright. The next turn they get that back. I don't know how long it'll take for us to actually have a window. But then we can just hard cast this. Um, okay, Mold Drifter. Sure. Cancel. This will go ahead and just. We'll just go ahead and play this. Seems good, right? Uh, yep, and then we can just start making two twos uh, every time that they. Yep. Um, yes, 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 yes. And they have less time than us, so they're more likely to time up than we are. They can bounce it if they want. Uh, they choose. They choose not to. Sure. Um, they probably don't think that it's much of a problem, or they don't have the bounce spell for it, which is also fine. They can have any number of cards not available to them. They they don't need all of them. And this is a ten seven shroud trample. I mean, uh, no, not shroud. Uh, fear trample. Sorry. Shadow. Shadow, right. Okay, I tell you, I'm 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 gonna go for him the second that I get the chance, which hopefully comes in eleven turns, twelve turns. No, yeah, eleven turns, uh, because. The next one, uh, on the 11th turn, I will be drawing out. Yeah. Pretty sure that they might have a card that might make me draw out. Nope. Cancel. Card cast. This one. Oh, yeah, that's right. That adds to... That adds to uh, the clock that they have on me, where I might draw out. Oops. 
cool. A land. I like lands. I think they might literally just time out here. I mean, it will take them a long time to do all this. They need to find, uh, what is it? Sage Road Denison? No. Sage Road? It's Sage Road Denison. That's the blue one. All right, ephemerating, doing the flicker shenanigan. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, mall drifters. I forgot. That's right. That's right. My clock is is not that uh, it's not that long. I need to get a stinkweed imp. Okay. Yeah, I need a stinkweed imp uh to block these. Okay, so I might need to dredge a stinkweed imp to not die. Uh, well, I guess I gotta do this. Okay. Cool. Um, Grixis Slave Driver. Sure. We'll go ahead like this. Pass the turn. Snap, returning the stink for him. Okay, sure. Do they have the ability to snap me out of the game? Alright, there's ephemerate. Coming back. Then they ephemerate, stone order dignitary, um, locking me out. Comes back, they scale master to get the flicker piece out. Alright. I, I feel like Popper's unique in how how vast the board states get. Like, look at this. This is just like a partially a staring match. Uh, for the most part. Um, and the board states get, like, really cramped. Like this. Like, look how huge this is. How, wh what other format do you have this many uh, permanents in? Alright, yeah, they got that snap. They have... Uh, yeah, they have uh, another snap in hand, I think. All right. Okay. Mm, pretty sure they can't stink with imp here. Mm, not so great. Firing bluff. Uh, we will stink with imp. Which is going to get snapped. Uh, we go down a three at that point. Do we even have the blockers? Because wait a minute. Um, so. Yeah, no, we can block all these guys. We just can't block the, the mall drifters. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I think that, that checks out. Yeah, they don't think they needed uh, Relic of Progenitus to stop this. Maybe we should have, maybe we should have brought in uh, some kind of graveyard hate to deal with their flicker shenanigan. Because look at this, they're throwing away cards that they just have extras of at this point. No, nope, go ahead, do your thing. Oh, welcome to the stream. Uh, <laughs> you're uh, you're just in time, <laughs> just to watch some uh, flicker flicker shenanigans go on. Uh, we're playing against uh, Azorius Flicker, and for some reason they have Boilerworks combo. I think they have uh, Pyroblast in the side. That's their plan. Oh, okay. They're they're going with it uh, with this for everything, except for Stonehorn Dignitary. I will kill that one. I will kill that one. I'm definitely killing that one. Killing this. Uh, 
Why do they attack with a zero four? Do they do they disrespect me? Um, we'll kill with that. Guy. We'll kill that guy too. Um, block here. Sure. Don't think that I'm dead. Right? Okay, yeah. We're good. Alright, Stone Hunter Dictionary. Alright, they got me. They uh they ended up locking me out of combat and I couldn't uh do anything about it. I have the best creature. Fear and trample and some huge fatties, but they don't do anything. Alright, well. There's only one thing that I can do. Uh rotting rats. Uh, oh, we'll discard uh, Faith Custody. Yep. Uh, we'll be going to game three in just a second. I'm not sure what to bring in. I don't think I packed anything to deal with them. I'm thinking maybe I should have packed something uh along the lines of like pyroblast or just some just uh some kind of graveyard hate to to somehow get rid of all of this nonsense and make it a little bit more difficult uh for them to deal with me all right yep they snap all right i'm gonna make you click for this win if you want to win through flicker you're gonna have to click for it Come on, work those fingers. I don't care if it, I don't care if they cramp. It's supposed to hurt when you when you flicker somebody out of the game. It's supposed to hurt. Do they bounce this land? Ah, yeah, I think they do. Ah, okay, I'm answer. That's why they were so willing to discard them. Uh, good to know. Get me, got me. Uh. If I do anything with the sideboard uh, after this, I think I'm just going to go ahead and maybe add, like, some Graveyard Hate in here. Because that would probably help me out a lot. That would, um, that would definitely uh, fix some of the problems that I've been having uh, with this Flicker deck. Oh, got white stains on me from uh, working with drywall today. Jesus. So, my bathroom's almost done. I have to build a wall for the bathtub and whatnot. Uh, and, of course, mud, tape, paint, do floor. But the hard stuff is done. Oh, that's play first. I think this is an acceptable hand. I have an early play. I'll keep. I can find lands with Winding Way. That would be awesome. And there's a lot of things I can draw into that'll help this. I have a mill card and lands. I'm happy. And I have uh, another color. Oh, GG, man. Okay. Um. What's TY mean? Oh, thank you. Alright, well. <laughs> oh well. Uh that's that's unfortunate. We didn't get to play out the third game. Um I think I'm gonna call it a night, work on uh some some assignments for my class. But for the most part, I just wanna go over real quick what we should maybe be adding to the sideboard here. Uh because there are some difficulties that I've been having with this uh with like the whole graveyard thing that people do like little graveyard shenanigans i think i'm super tempted to add relic still just for its first ability where you can slowly be grinding out your opponent when they take seven ten turns or something to try to kill you and you're exiling like 10 cards out of their yard and limiting their choices and you have the chance to potentially exile their yard uh it's usually pretty useful but so many of our cards sit in the graveyard in those instances when we're getting flickered out of the game that 
we can't really I don't think that we can really afford to uh, exile our own graveyard. We'd have to actively choose to not aggressively mill ourselves. So we gotta have something else. Maybe pyroblast. Pyroblast, maybe? And or or maybe red elemental blast just to slow them down for a considerable amount of time. Or we could go with uh Fairy Macabre. We could go with Fairy Macabre, right? Let's see if Mac turns it up. Yeah, there it is. We could go with uh, two Fairy Macabres. Yeah, I think this is actually better. Yeah, this will work. Double Fairy Macabre uh, might be better than the Thorn of the Black Rose. Oh, hold on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, I don't know how much I like fling. I do like ancient grudge. Um, we do have a lot of artifact hate already. Uh, I will uh, put a kibosh on one ancient grudge, and we'll just um, put in these for now. Um, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So next time I will. Uh, next time. I will probably be trying to get into Azorius Affinity, which is or Azorius Metalcraft, whatever you want to call it. It is a of one mind deck, and it's similar to um, this Jeskai Affinity here, but instead of casting so many frog bites and focusing on Atogs and Galvanic Blast, you are instead focused on casting uh, Ardent Recruits and uh, more efficient creatures. Uh, hold on. Where? Oh yeah, that's right. You have to spell. You have to spell words right. No, I guess I do not have. Uh, I guess I don't have ardent recruit. Anyway, just one drop, three threes, um, and hyper efficient creatures. You're less focused on playing around with atogs and whatnot. The deck looks pretty sweet and pretty fun. Um, from what I remember, I think some of them were only playing like. I think the one that I saw was played by uh, Sin City Games. And so Sin City um, said that there was only like 13 lands in it. I think I can't remember the list exactly off the top of my head. But either way, you should probably go check out that deck for yourself. It looked pretty sweet. And I'm definitely excited to play it because I don't like Just Guy Affinity that much. After playing with it on my spare time and playing with it on the channel, I don't really love it. It's uh, it's not some, it's something that I could definitely leave. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not super satisfied uh with playing something like that, and I'm not satisfied with this little thing. Anyway, I'll adjust that later. Thank you for watching today, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'll be starting up D and D uh sometime next week. Uh, hopefully you can look forward to that. And don't worry, it won't uh, interfere with the popper content so much. It might be uh, more of a weekly video thing. Thank you for watching. Coming in for that face touch. And don't forget to go outside, meddle with some mages, crack some clues, name some spells, and coming in for that face touch.